But because of temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 2. Hey fam bam, it's me, just Londa. Have you subscribed? Enjoy the fam. Join the madness, join the fun. It's me, just Londa. Can we talk there, talk? as a work wife or work husband is a massive red flag. If you don't know, this guy Ned from the Try Guys was fired because he cheated on his wife with his associate producer. One, I feel bad for the guy's wife. This is horrible that it's public. Two, if your significant other claims to have a work wife or work husband, run. Why? Because Habibi, it will only lead to problems. They will start to get close with their work wife. They will complain to their work husband. They get close. They become besties, spending eight hours at work five times a week. Then they go to happy hour. But there will not be a happy ending for you in this situation. To me, the label is a cover to show they're interested in one of their coworkers. Nothing else? Nothing more. All right, fam bam. All right, fam bam. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Uh, you know those work husbands, work wives? They could be a little dangerous. I wanted to go down because you know what? <laughs> I had a work husband. Um, yeah, mostly with a couple of, when there's mainly male, uh, when there's a male there, let's say that. Because sometimes it's just be a whole bunch of females, but you know, there are times where you come across where there are males and females there. And like, I would have a work husband. <laughs> yeah. This is before I got married. This is before I got married, all right? But yeah, I would have a work husband. Now, I will say after the fact that I did have, after I got married, someone was trying to be my work husband and I was like I know you see this whole ring like I know you see this whole ring up here nevertheless he was still trying to approach just saying so let's go down let's go down the rabbit hole of work husbands I'm not gonna lie, this video mad accurate. Watch this. I'm a work husband. Of course I'm bringing your wife food to work. <laughs> I'm a work husband. Of course I'm bringing your wife Starbucks. Tanya. <laughs> I'm a work husband. Of course I'm laying in her cubicle while your wife dogs your relationship. Tell me more. That is so true. Bringing you something to eat, wanting to know what's going on, especially if you have a partner they are trying to make room for themselves. I'm a work husband. Of course I'm opening the door for your wife. Come on, girl. Go ahead. Now, in that aspect, I would think that if your man is not opening the doors for you and someone else steps in and does that, especially women that are married the devil does not like to see a proper union and if you can step out of bounds he's won fine i'm a work husband of course i give you a wife great massages come here girl let me see my shoulders real quick. <laughs> i'm not going front to you they love to give you massages while you're at work. Comment down below. Comment down below if I'm right. Comment down below if I'm right. Quick story. I was in the airport a few weeks ago and this uh these two TSA workers were walking. I'm a boy and a girl. And homie said shine and shorty started cheesing. I mean it it dying laughing i'm like damn that's a work relationship if i ever seen one like she probably was so happy to leave her man at home this yeah. is all hypothetical i don't know their lives of course but i know what a work relationship looked like 
and that was one of them. <laughs> Yo, don't work relationships be in. Yo, nobody. Some my son told me he saw a post the other day. It was like nobody falls in love faster than a, a work husband and wife that are both in relationships. That is a fact, gang. That is a fact, man. The work relationships be feeling like like the Titanic. <laughs> like the notebook. Like <laughs> should be feeling like the best romance you'll ever experience in your life. And then you go home to your That's so true. Like those work relationships because if you think about it, think about it. You're at work eight hours, right? Granted, you're home longer, but let's say you work a nine to five, nine to eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine to six, right? Nine to six. You go home and you cook. Because you have to eat. And after you cook, you're getting ready to go to bed. So when are you spending that time with your partner, your husband? When are you spending that time with them? You're not. Because even if you're cooking and let's say you and your husband cook together. Let's say you and your husband cook together. You're at work eight hours a day. Let's say it takes you an hour to cook and eat. So you get home. Let's say you get home. You get all settled in by seven o'clock. You start cooking. By eight o'clock, you've already eaten and things like that. You can already go to bed and do it all over again. So that relationship with your work husband it's amplified because you are spending so much time at work partner <laughs> it's sick it's sick what we normalize in the world we live in but it's crazy so i got more i got more Ooh, your breath stinks. <laughs> Stop playing. Oh my Give me a second, Eddie. Hello. Who that? Hey. Um, I'm probably just going to have um, shrimp and broccoli. Tell them to cook my broccoli well done. And some garlic chicken wings. All right, thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay. The fact that she had to pull away from her partner to answer the phone. Let me tell you something. Whenever males call me, because I have male friends, you know what I'm saying? I did not leave, stop being friends with my males. So whenever my male friends call me, uh, Boo is right there. He right there. And I talk to my male friends right in front of Boo because uh, ain't nothing going down. You hear me? Not on, not, not on this happy marriage. It ain't happening. Why are you ordering food? I just told you I was going to bring you food today. Oh, I didn't know. That was just my coworker. It's not a big deal. You can save your money. Your coworker who? Just my coworker. The confused look on his face. Now I get it. These are skits. However. It really does go down like this. Good. Ooh, Tori. No. Chanel. No, Tom. Like Tony. Tony. <laughs> no. <laughs> Antonia. Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. But that sounds like a guy. Why, why would you? <laughs> you wouldn't be ordering food with a guy at the job. You wouldn't even trip on me like that. It's a guy, but it's not like that. He gets me lunch like every day. He gives you lunch every day. You know what what they say about men. What they say about men and food. You don't think that's the same for women? You don't you don't think 
that's the same for women. I'm just saying. Fuck you mean he gets you lunch every day? Calm down, baby. It's just a coworker getting me lunch. It's no, not no, no, it's not. It's not. You walking away all talking all quiet Thanks. talking about some uh, give me some shrimp and grits i went what <laughs> first you of all i said shrimp and broccoli second of all he is a married man he's not thinking about me no that oh so because he's married it it makes it all right so you're his work wife and he's your work husband and because both of y'all have a partner that makes it all right Does his wife know that you're that he's about to buy? You know, I don't. Now that I'm older, I don't see why you would put yourself in a predicament where he works where you work at too. But again, you know, as you get older, you get wisdom that that's how all these grades are coming in. Good God, these grades are coming in. You hear me? But that's all them wisdom. But I'm about to hide some of this wisdom soon. <laughs> it hasn't gotten on my nerves just yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. But let's be real. Because y'all work together, that's where you bond at. If you met, if you met that person outside of work, that person would not be on your radar at all. Niggas game. You you hide to me, Mac. Call him back. Look, he's just a new Call him back. I'm gonna talk to him. That's right. Pull him back. In my wing, and he's just a nice guy. Oh, he's, he's, a new, he's a new doctor. Oh, oh. call him back know? so I can let him know what it okay. is. I got it. I have a solution. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> let me tell you something. I call my husband a stalker. Okay. Because one thing he doesn't do is play about his family. All right. And, you know, my husband is not like, he's not six feet tall or anything like that. He's a stocky guy. He's, he's a man's man. He is definitely an alpha male. Like he makes his present known that he is a alpha male. Okay. He makes his present known for that. And one job that I worked at, um, I think I like forgot food or something like Yeah, I had to have forgotten my lunch because my lunch break wasn't that long. So I would just basically eat in my car. And um, I asked him to bring me my lunch. Now, if you don't know, I'm just Londa. I've been married for about 17 years. And I say about 17 years because truly it's been so long. I don't even know. Like, I feel like it's been longer than that. It, it, it might have been. Nevertheless, almost two decades. We'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one. I like that much better. We'll go with that one. So... My husband and I have been always married for two decades and um, he popped up at my job. The way he moves is really funny because not the fact that he felt intimidated or anything of a sort. However, he did wear um, some gear because he rode his bike and his bike is very loud okay it's very loud so he's like rubbing his engine and stuff like that and he lets me know that he's outside so i go out there and i get my my lunch and stuff and he we kiss and we leave you know he's like, oh, you, you know how many you know how many do you know how many do and then i'm going back in there and like people are like is that your husband i'm like yeah that's my husband they were like he's bop 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 i'm like 
Yeah. It was like, really? I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> the mere fact that that man wants to pop up, pop up on him. Pop up on him. Give me that, baby. I'm, I'm going to call him. <laughs> hey, Tone. Look, don't worry about lunch. My stomach is bothering me a little bit. So I'm not yeah, don't worry about lunch, lunch nigga. I'm not going to eat. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. She's not going to eat your food. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, baby. Play with me. I know that's why. Why are you acting like that? It's not. It's not like that. That's a married man. He's not thinking about me. Matter of fact, FaceTime him. I want to see this nigga. You know what? Yeah. I want to see him on FaceTime. Again, I know this is. A oh my God! You yes. must be hubby. The fuck! I heard all great things about you. Bitch, hurry up! It's giving you late for work. Like, hurry hey, up! Tom. You like my tie? Well, I'm going to see you. Hurry up and get here, Thuffa. Now, you know, Tony was acting. He was acting because she FaceTimed him. <laughs> and you know what? That was smart. That was smart because you wouldn't think the fact that, you know, he Tony would be giving you this delivery, but because... They are, he is trying to be like, <laughs> had old boy, had old boy, wasn't in the background talking his yam in the background, and then he would have FaceTimed, that would have never happened. He would have been like, yo, was all, whatever the case may be, he wouldn't have been like that. But because he was yapping in the background, and then they go and do FaceTime, he's like, okay. He made her do the FaceTime. You got anything you want to say now? Why didn't you just tell me he was gay? Why didn't you just say that? Why does it matter? You said that. When no, you was now you're sleeping on the couch tonight. When you was ordering the shirt. You're sleeping on the couch said, tonight. Make sure you get your pillows fluffed up good. Bye. Love you. You could just say he was gay. That would have been. They give No, her. that was your fault. <laughs> that was a cute skit. That was his fault. That was his fault. Had he not yapped in the beginning, had he would be like, uh, you know, just kept it quiet just to see what it would have happened, he, he would not have gotten that response. He would have gotten the real Antonio. Fella, sometimes you got to pull up to your woman job just to let the work husband know you with the smoke, okay? Yeah. But you ain't got to make a scene and be all aggressive about it. You don't want to embarrass her. She still got to work there. What you want to do is send a message to him through her. Here's what you do. You take a lunch. Y'all chilling. Lunch over. Time for her to get back to work. Time to say the goodbyes. She going to try to walk you to that car. Don't let her walk you to that car. <laughs> you establish dominance right there in front of everybody. Oh, that's what my husband It's time was doing. for the hug. Okay. Get handsy on her. Grip it. Squeeze it. When it's time for the kiss, nothing too intimate. Just enough to let her know I love you and I'm on to you. You pull away, you give her a kiss on the forehead. Now, while you're doing all of that, you're making eye contact with little buddy the whole entire time. <laughs> now, there wasn't a little. No, I don't know that. Then you dip out. Now, I don't know if, if anybody was watching, but apparently people was watching or they saw on the camera because we were outside. Oh no. However, the fact they did see and my husband did this. Oh my gosh. My husband did this. He low key pissed. Now, every time she tried to talk to him, he bringing you up. I don't know if your husband going to be around. I don't want your husband. Eventually, she don't get tired of hearing that, and she's just gonna stop talking to him completely. Work relationship ruined. You're welcome. <laughs> that that. Mm. I I see you, boo. I know you don't watch my videos, but I see you. I see you. I think I have one more. 
ticklish. No, you're not. You ain't ticklish right Boy, there. I've been on my feet all day. I'm going to give you a foot massage. No, wait, bye. What you mean? Holler at me when I get on break. You holler at me? Why you treat me so good? I know your love language is acts of service. I just want to show you how you should really be appreciated. I'm about to go to Starbucks for you. You want your same usual, you know, caramel frap, caramel on top and the bottom with some whipped cream? Not until you know my whole Starbucks order at heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that Starbucks order is something else. You want to... How... How... uh <laughs> Kevin Hart say it. The Frappuccino rap 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 rap. <laughs> I don't know. I don't drink coffee and I don't know the lingo, so... Uh. Somebody got to pay attention to your cute ass. Why you always... She's disrespectful for that to be <laughs> the conversation that you're having on the phone with your husband or other your partner letting everyone listen to it especially him that's crazy it's like then you can't make a mistake let step curry miss a three and he, he mess up his parlay he'll forgive him that's him calling back yes don't even answer you want me to give you a ride home i'm gonna wait you're away from him yeah. all right where my hug at See you. <laughs> you smell good. Look, don't stop. That's an intimate hook. I have one more because you know I'm, I'm getting past the 20 minute mark. I'm getting there. But I have one more. Hey, I got a message for the fellas. Fellas, I'm going to tell you something. The work husband is real. Straight up. Because I'm a certified work husband. <laughs> so when your woman come to work, what I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to her complain about you, how bad you treat her, how much you argue, how you always short on bills, Yo. and I'm going to console her. Then I'm going to massage her. And you know, the mere fact that they are just spending that time with you, that gives, that gives them room like that. You're sitting there pouring your information into this person for them to basically uh do the same thing they, that your your husband or your partner is doing so why feed him information because he's your friend or your work husband you just need to get something off of you shoulders make her feel good and then i'm gonna take her out to lunch in them days did what she tell you she got to pull overtime yeah okay she pulled overtime in my house in the goddamn bedroom oh. <laughs> he ain't wrong he ain't wrong let me tell you before i became just london person that loves God and I was a, I was a wild being. I was a wild being then. <laughs> Eli, now, glory to God, uh, that never took place while I was married, for one. This is all when I was single. But that's how, that's... So, y'all comment down below. Do y'all have your work husbands? Do you have your work wives? Do y'all draw lines? Is there a line in the sand? Do y'all go to lunch together? Are y'all sitting there chatting it up on the phone? Like, I keep hitting this mic, I'm so sorry. But, um, like, tell me down below, comment down below, how is y'all's, uh, work wife work husband work spouse how is that how how is it or work boyfriend girlfriend how is it so uh, again comment down below uh, thanks for watching rating and subscribing all that good jazz that make me feel so warm and fuzzy inside peace and peace bye and um I seen that make boss that wouldn't leave the wedding and she had to get thrown out. Click it.